Hello, I'm back for another live. So right now what I need to do is rehydrate my borax and um, I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So if you are not familiar, there is um, a borax bar you can buy. I, I got this one through Rio. It's made by Technique. This is what it looks like when it's new. It's beautiful. So it is compressed borax, and that is what it looks like when it's new. This is what mine looks like, um, and that's I'm still using that one. So we're saving the new one. You guys got to see what it looks like, though. And that is um, made in the UK and ordered through Rio Grande here in the United States. Technique Borax. Okay, so then they make this wonderful little ceramic dish. And this has not been glazed. This dish is like essentially whatever, bisqueware, fired, um, fired clay, but not glazed. And so yesterday when I was working, um, I try to just make what I need for what I'm doing. Um, I don't like to make too much extra. But I got a little carried away yesterday, as I do sometimes. And I made more than I needed. So then today when I came to my bench, um, it's all, all the moisture has evaporated, it's all dried up, and it's just like this crusty powder now. So what I do is take some distilled water, which I just keep in this old sriracha bottle, and I put a little bit of water in the bottom, and like anytime you're working with a liquid and a powder, um, like for example, you're making a batter, Right, we wanna just kinda of add a little bit of liquid to begin with and um, work from there. We don't need to add too much at one time or we're just going to have a soupy mess. So I'm using my paintbrush. This is just like an arts and crafts paintbrush um, that I use for my flux. And I'm using it to sort of just paint the bottom of the dish here to it rehydrate all of the powder. Okay, so now it's rehydrated and it's got this for me this might work for some I, I tend to like mine a little bit thicker I don't like my flux too runny so this to me is a little bit too runny I'm trying to see if you can see that okay see all that liquid right there okay so I'm going to take my borax um, bar and just rub it on the plate or on the bottom of the ceramic dish here in um sorry let me try to do this so you can see better so just in a circular motion uh, I try not to hit the sides of it but if you do like scrape the sides it's not that big of a deal you can see kind of there's like a crusty buildup on here from all the times I have hit the sides <laughs> so if you keep it more in the center you avoid getting all that crusty buildup, and obviously you can clean this. Um, I use distilled water specifically because I don't want any extra mineral content. It all it it just depends on where you live and what kind of water you have access to. So I tend to buy um, distilled water, or if you have a distiller, you can distill your own. So here. <clears throat> Now that liquid is, is thicker, that's more about how I like to work with it. If you can kind of see that glistening off of there. So that's all I really need. And I'm going to move my camera real quick. So this is part of what I'm going to be working on today. Um, pieces that are in various stages of needing different things. Some of them need a band soldered onto them or a bale or they need a back plate still. Um, so this is the flux that I've made for basically for my work day and as the day progresses I will um, rehydrate it as needed and that's it. All right, hope you guys learned something. <laughs>